Well, I sold my last company, and it was a question of what do I do next? And this is a terrific opportunity to broaden my horizons and make a little transition. I have uh, been through three entrepreneurial ventures, and I think it's time to give back. It's time to move into the public sector. I started a master's program long ago, um, but uh, my master's thesis committee in 1981 decided that the future of the computer as a mass <coughs> medium uh, was not a viable topic for, uh, um, because the computer was not a mass medium. I came from a very international market, uh, the intelligent robotics industry, and was working with uh, the uh, standards organization that's affiliated with that, started an NGO uh, foundation. Um, those interests uh, led me to SciTech policy. So I'm looking at opportunities that work either those connections or those interests that I built up over the years. The faculty at Kennedy is pretty amazing. You're learning the uh, global compact from a person who helped create it. Uh, you're uh, walking into uh, uh, classes on uh, educational policy with the uh, guest speaker who was the education minister under Vicente Fox. Um, it's, it's really uh, quite uh, um, a wonderful opportunity to see how the inside of government works. The people that you meet at Harvard Kennedy are from all over the world. Uh, they are impressive people. There are people who've run for office as president in various countries. They're, there's uh, a person who was at the Kyoto Protocol um, negotiations, uh, someone who founded a school in South Africa, uh, someone who is working in anti-corruption in India. Uh, the, the plethora of, of, uh, of people here is amazing. I think it's all <laughs> surprising and unexpected because I had no idea what to expect when I came in. I, I think that the description that you hear is, is difficult to comprehend until you walk in the door and start meeting all the amazing people who uh, make up both the faculty and staff and, and uh, student body of Harvard Kennedy.